Hi, welcome to the Craft Channel. My name's Corinne Brad, and today I want to show you how easy it is to make a shatter pattern quilt. It's not that easy to say, very easy to make. And this design is great if you've got um, charm packs that you've bought and there's various fabrics in there that you haven't used and you've got several charm packs, you can mix and match them and create quite a cohesive quilt. There is very little measuring involved. The purists among you will not be happy with the way that I'm doing this, but this is the quickest and easiest way that I've found. Um, I've got some squares of fabric here. These are 23 centimetres. And by the time I've finished sewing them together, they will come down to about 21 centimetres. And that's absolutely fine. So, layer them all up. Check that they are all the correct way up. You're going to take your ruler and you're going to slice right through that pile of fabric. And then you'll slice a bit more. Oh. And let's do that here. And then we'll have a different angle coming down this way. Now that may look terrifying to you because you've just basically cut your fabric into pieces. But if you grab one colour of one, the next colour down, the third colour down, the fourth, And the fifth, just pop them there so they're all in the right place. So you've got five different designs. And then you're going to sew them back together again in the reverse order to how you cut them. So I'm going to sew these two pieces together, right sides together. And rather than try and lining up this outer edge, just concentrate on lining up the inner line. Now you're going to have a 5 mil seam allowance on this, so what you will do is you will make sure your fabrics intersect 5 mil in from the seam. Ordinary straight stitch. And then just finger press that to the darker side of fabric. And then we'll sew these three pieces together in the same way. Finger press it to the darker side. And when you're doing this quilt, it's worth making sure you do have enough work table room to leave things laid out. Because especially when you've got a series of triangles, sometimes it's difficult to remember which triangle is which. And you'll see immediately, especially on this third one, that you've got an excess of fabric on this depth. It's because you've taken a centimetre out here and a centimetre out there. But as long as you've lined up, as best you can, that was really badly lined up. As long as you've lined up that centre line, you can stitch it together. Now I'm just going to pop a pin in this one. And then open it out. I'm just going to give that a quick press. 
And then when you come to do your next one, you should have your fabrics. And each time you take a layer off the top, you'll have a different combination of fabrics. Each piece will sort of move around the, the block, as it were. Now, as you can see, you have these overhangs. And the simplest way, the simplest way to deal with that is if you work to your shortest piece and then just square up your block. And this is where a quilt rule and a gridded cutting mat really does come in handy. Now this has actually just come down to 20 and a half. So I am just going to trim off another half centimetre off this edge to make it perfectly square. And as long as you trim all your quilt blocks to the same size, they will fit together like this quilt here. And this has been arranged so that all the quilt blocks are in the same orientation. They've all got this kite shape in the top left corner. So I'm not going to show you how to do any more than that, but it's just a great stash buster if you've got squares of fabric that you're not ever going to use for anything else. Cut them all to the same size, chop them all into pieces and then just bear in mind that when you're making your blocks up your blocks will end up about two centimetres, two and a half centimetres, an inch smaller all the way around because you've obviously got your seam allowances in there and that shrinks the fabric up each time. Hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're going to come back again and see us soon or check out some of our previous sewing videos, we've got a whole back catalogue now of videos and if you click subscribe you can be notified every time that we post a new one. In the meantime, please keep safe, please keep sewing and we'll see you again soon. If you've been inspired to create, please share your makes with us in the comments section below and if you've enjoyed videos by The Crafts Channel, hit the like button. Want to see more of us? Then click subscribe. See you next time.